Well, hello, uh, this is Bob, or RCM Photography, yes, I do photography, nude photography, of course, but, oh, well, who cares about Playboy, yeah, well, who cares, Bob, I know, <laughs> anyway, sorry, I had a few drinks, um, it's my day off, or tomorrow's my day off, too, well, anyway, I got this one all set up, now, this is probably the biggest I've done, uh, it's five boards, uh, fan squad leader, of course, uh, actually, I got another one of the equivalent about seven or eight boards to be in some the Battle of the Hague, or rather the German parachute being the Hague and all that. Stuff. But this one is pretty much a taking of you can't uh, Saint Mary Lace in France as part of D Day, and obviously this puppy you know, has really pretty much uh, I don't know. Oh yeah, sorry. Sorry, videography is not my strong point. Uh, it's photography. And there you go, more in focus. But yes, um, it's taken up basically this whole game table. Uh, so I have to use this ottoman here, which stores all of my Doctor Who videos. And yes, I'm a Doctor Who fan. A lot of the old stuff too. I like the old stuff, black and white a video, of course. Um, so I gotta put all the marking counters here, all the paperwork, Germans and one of them. Of course, you got this guy right there, and then here are your other stuff right there. I saw basically the Americans and your black shirts, and there's yeah, there's a black shirt right there. Um. So I got it all set up. This is your parachutist for the first wave. Um, these are basically the guys that are in the vehicles right now that are basically doing patrol work basically because again the Germans did not think they were going to be invaded. Uh, so this is just a routine night for most of them. You can see it's just pretty much quiet here. I mean you got your little resist if you can look close enough uh, that guy right there is your French resistance guy he's in a nice little house and they're having a nice little pow pow wow and they're kind of being stalked by some German sniper or assassin whatever and these guys are just kind of patrolling about whatever same here We've got little checkpoints here use the pillboxes of that um, got some little partisan or French resistance kind of wondering about, and of course, you got some French resistance guys here. They're and they're having some, I guess, some wine or hiding out from the uh, you know, the German forces in the uh, town because they're pretty much out there. Uh, you got the uh, incompetent generals right there, or colonels of the six plus one guys that don't do diddly quat for anything. They're they're having their schnapps in the I guess a hotel or something. And of course, there's a resistance uh, sniper or assassin working about too. Yeah, there's um, this is going to have uh, two snipers for both sides. Uh, Two Germans, two resistance. Uh, I am going to use the balance and uh, basically, I think I'm going to use the balance. Uh, uh, let's see, do I want to? Yeah, I'm going to use the balance. I'm basically, later on, I'm going to throw in the American sniper and then I'll put your black SS sniper in there for that purpose but for now they're all four snipers um or assassins uh the only thing going on right now is there's a fire raging right in the town in the town and actually there was a fire going on there so i decided to start the game with a blazing fire and, and of course the americans have to land in this i had to make certain i set up the land points in certain points have to be in parts of the town where they're basically on um, clay pigeons. We're just trying to be as historical accurate as possible on this. 
Um, and there's some other hazards. Uh, a big, large body of water, some more water, some marshes, just some things that make life miserable for guys in parachutes um, and gliders. I think there was gliders, yes. And then some bar, this is probably this sort of like this some whatever, these guys are just kind of doing whatever, having their snaps, doing nothing. And guy, one little resistance guy, just kind of having his bottle of wine before he gets his instructions to start whatever. And then next to him, not too far away, unknowing to him and unknowing to the other guy, and these guys are having a party in the house too. So, but obviously these guys are GIs. They're going to make things a little bit more complicated for everyone's siestas. So, and it's going to be, uh, as I said, it's going to be kind of interesting. Uh, as I said, this is taking up my whole space. I mean, normally I do, you know, I do your own. I do like a, at the most a three board scenario. I've done scenarios that are canon to the advanced squad leader that are one or two. This one really, really takes up a lot of space. So fortunately I do have, and you can't see it here, I got a chair that has wheels so I can move back and forth, back and forth and all that. I really had to find somewhere else to put my, um, well, I don't know. I'm going to find a spot for all my uh, my booze because I do drink a little bit, but who cares? <laughs> but I just wanted to kind of share this layout for everybody. And as I said, this is pretty much, yeah, I wouldn't say, well, you can say it's uh, Rommel's wet dream or maybe Colonel Clank's wet dream, but it's my wet dream, so enjoy.